NOAA's National Marine Sanctuaries protect areas of national significance for their exceptional natural beauty and resources. Research and monitoring expeditions provide scientists with valuable knowledge about the biodiversity and ecological integrity of these fragile underwater systems. The knowledge does not come easy. Their mission is challenging and sometimes dangerous but these risks pale in comparison to the wealth of information that awaits them. This is Expedition Sanctuary Quest. Preparing a research vessel to go to sea is a huge undertaking. Over the course of one day, the empty ship transforms into a high-tech research platform Tons of equipment, provisions, and supplies have to be loaded and stowed. The crew must double-check every last detail. Once at sea, the ship must be entirely self-sufficient. To keep everything running smoothly, the crew charts a cruise plan to coincide with the schedule of research. The goal of this expedition is to assess the health of offshore and nearshore marine ecosystems. The NOAA ship MacArthur will spend two months at sea, focusing on all the national marine sanctuaries along the west coast, from Southern California to Northern Washington. Research takes place around the clock, and as night closes over the sanctuary, a team of special map makers deploy their side scan sonar. The sonar will provide acoustic information to make detailed maps of the ocean floor. As one set of scientists are finishing up the night ship, another is being called to start their day. Wake up calls come early, usually before the sun is up. Hey, By dawn, Chief Scientist Sarah Fangman is on the bridge checking the plans for the deployment of the remotely operated vehicle. Our weather has turned a little bit, and so we're going to have to move to a more protected area where we can work. Well, as long as we're heading in this direction, because the weather is forcing us that way, we'd like to stop. Once calmer waters are found, the science continues. The remotely operated vehicle crew prepares their machine for its dive. The ROV allows the scientists to penetrate the unexplored depths, which account for 90% of the ocean. There is no idle time. While the ROV is being prepared, another group of scientists takes seawater and surface plankton samples. As the samples are collected, they go straight to the onboard lab, where they are processed and analyzed. The ROV can stay down many, many hours, whereas divers are limited with supplied air, and we can rotate shifts and go 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The cameras on the ROV are the scientists' eyes into the ocean. These cameras will confirm what the scientists have found through the side scan sonar mapping. The ROV also allows scientists the opportunity to do species counts and more detailed habitat classification. Look at the anemones and the corals, cup corals. Oh yeah, that oh, is excellent. gorgeous. Excellent. Change. Habitat's changed dramatically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, did you nice see you just one. caught right. that? Yeah. Oh yeah. A research ship can be a dangerous place with hazards all around. Everyone must be alert to these and know how to deal with emergencies. Fire and evacuation drills are performed without warning at any time of the day or night. As the science work goes on, the ship's crew also works around the clock. Engineers keep the engines operating properly, while the deck officers constantly monitor the ship's location. 
The deck crew operates all the machinery needed to perform the research, and the galley crew has to be sure all 40 people on board get fed. As night falls again, another shift of scientists begin their work in trawling for plankton. Half moon out there, so there's quite a bit of light, which will affect how fast and how high these critters come up in the water column. Okay, watch the slack there, folks. Okay, got her, let her go. One more step in measuring productivity of an area. Juvenile deposits, krill, squid, copepods. After a long, wet night, dawn finally comes. The ship begins a transit to the next area for work. As miles of ocean slide beneath the hull, the observations and data collecting continue. Seabird and marine mammal observers are out working. Bird and whale counts help determine the health of a given area. For two months, this grueling schedule of day and night scientific work continues. Searching for the understanding that will provide solutions to better manage resources within our national marine sanctuary.